Hi everybody, welcome to Andy's Bay Reviews. This is what we've got in stores for today. This is uh, Delirium Tremors. It's a strong uh, Belgian beer. 8.5% uh, ABV in a 330ml bottle. Hi there, if you're watching this and you haven't already, please remember to subscribe. Really appreciate it. Um, we don't talk enough. I don't talk enough about the bottles, the containers, the cans that these products come in. This I think is just worth a bit of a mention. Um, Delirium, a um, couple of things. It comes in a, a porcelain bottle, which is fairly unique. I, I come from an area in Yorkshire where we've got, uh, we have a lot of bottle makers. Um, back in the day, I think, uh, remember my granddad's day to say that most things used to come in these like little porcelain Bottles are a lot of them, kind of these little plastic bottles. It's nice to see at least one brewer uh, bringing them back. And this is not, this is really, is an iconic beer. I mean, this is one best beer um, in the world award. Uh, going back a little bit, but it, it has been named one of the best beers in the world. And just look at that logo, that little pink elephant. Um, Delirium Tremors, Tremens uh, comes from the condition which is where we get DTs from. DTs is if you are going off alcohol, you get the shakes, you get the DTs, you get the delirium tremens, which is where it comes from. And a little pink elephant, which is very reminiscent of um, Disney's Dumbo, um, is just to play on, on that, really. You see, probably from Dumbo, when he drinks too much, and you start seeing pink elephants, but apparently uh, when you get the DTs, you uh, start to hallucinate and legend has it one of the things you start to see is things like uh, pink elephants. I think um, legend has it that it was a tax inspector that uh, first called it delirium tremors because because um, when he was drinking it he thought he'd better stop because if he didn't stop he would get the DTs and the name just seemed to stick from there so Looking forward to having this, not just because it's strong, but suppose it, because it is supposed to be a wonderful beer. Don't wait to find out. Crack it open. Let's have a little snifter of it. Um, it's fermented uh, several times, and the last time it's fermented, it's fermented in the bottle. So we can expect maybe a little bit of uh, yeastiness to come out from, from that. A uh, little bit of... Uh, Floating sediment would be nice, but not necessary. Let's get into the glass. Let's see what we've got. Well, that's poured with a very good head. Too good. I think that's my pouring rather than the product itself. Um, but that's a pour of golden colours. A good bit of carbonation still happening in there. It looks to be relatively clear, tiny little bit hazy there, not a lot. And that's poured with a two and a bit finger head. Um, it's a very bubbly, big bubbly head. So uh, that's probably, if I'm being honest, my pouring more than anything to do with the beer. That looks nice. Let's get a nose in there. Let's see what it, it uh, smells like. You get that um, yeasty, almost banana ester, banana uh, a type of aromas that you get from a wee beer. So it's malty, it's fruity. There is some fruit going on there. I say there is that, that banana -y feel going on in there. Probably getting a bit of. I'm getting some pear out of that as well. A little bit of a pear aroma as well out of that. Stop. Top it up a little bit. Mm. Start that spilling everywhere. But next is the taste. And if we can get past that head. Cheers everybody. That's nice. That is nice. It's yeasty. Um, 
and I believe it's made by three types of um, Belgian yeast. And that yeastness really comes through in there, but it's malty as well. You get hit first by the sweet malts, and then gets overtaken by a little biscuity malt flavour. So it changes that profile a little bit. You get a little bit of warmth from the alcohol. It doesn't taste particularly strong. It doesn't taste like the 8.5%. But you do get that warmth of the alcohol. I can feel it now at the top of my mouth. There's a little bit of lemon in there. A little bit of clove, which is classic of Belgian beers. And I am getting that pear coming through. Uh, England have just scored. The Euros are on. We're now beating Ukraine 2 0 by the sounds of it. There you go. I'm dating my video now. So, celebrating. Celebrating now. Looks like we're through. Um, That is really, really, really good. Um, like I say, you're not tasting eight and a half percent alcohol, but you are getting that warm through from from the alcohol content. It's quite nice. It's fairly medium. It looks like a very light beer, but it feels good in the mouth. It does feel fairly medium bodied in the mouth, which is quite nice. It's sweet. It's refreshing. Again, now a little bit of spice coming through. That is really, really tasty. Very nice indeed. Question is, would I buy that again? Hell yeah. Um, score wise, that gets a 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10. Cheers, everybody. Back to watch England beat Ukraine. See you, everybody.